right? So this part here, I've just covered this bit. And then I do need to include this bit off the end because it's, it's not okay, right? So I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to put a word in here. My choices are and or or, right? I'm going to write them down. And or, okay? Who wants to, um, <laughs> let's do it this way. It's time. I've been, I've been putting it off. I'm going to ask you to put up one finger for and and two fingers for or. And everyone has to vote, okay? So and or or, I'm looking for one finger or two. One finger or two. One finger or two. Okay, I'm waiting for everyone. Come on, commit to something. Put that hand up, man. Come on. That's not up. People can't see, all right? There you go. Okay. Look around. Okay. What is that? Is that one or two? Fingers crossed. Over. Fingers crossed. That doesn't count. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, let's see here. Where are we going to begin? How many people have one finger up? Quite a few. Okay. Over on this table, somebody got one finger. Or do you all have two fingers? Does anyone here on this table have one finger? I have ten dollars. You go ahead. What are you thinking? Why? What makes you think and? Mm -hmm. So you said, actually we might as well write it, I guess, before we sort out this word that goes in between. What is the thing that comes after? And, and. Oh, you've changed your mind. You've just been so, you're very convincing, obviously, okay? Um, this last bit here is going to be x is greater than five. five. So you're saying and belongs in here, because I really do want both of them. Yeah, you said this, also this, okay? Someone else, who's, someone said two, someone who said two. Zachy, what are you thinking? Why or? Um, well, because the value doesn't have to be both That's interesting. So you used a word there that we didn't say before. You used the word, did anyone catch what Zaki said? He said either, right? And either doesn't really go with and, does it? You can't say either this and this. <laughs> you go either or this, right? So that's in the or camp. Now, before I said all this, right? Zaki has said something really helpful, which is it's about values that x can take. So we can actually use this to settle our argument, right? Um, let's think of a number that we reckon satisfies this. What's a nice, easy value for x that I could put in two. that would work? Two? Zero. 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 I hear a lot of zeros. Okay, we like zero, don't we? Why do we like zero so much? Zero times zero times zero. Zero. Because it's easy to work with, isn't it? It's like I, I hardly even think, right? So let's put this in. Let's see what happens. I'm going to evaluate the left-hand side. I get, when I put zero take away two gives me minus negative two. two. Zero plus one gives me one. Zero minus five is negative. So negative five. Okay, so this, of course, is equal to what happens to the double negative? Ten. Cancels. So I just get ten. Now, is that greater than zero? Yeah. It is greater than zero. So in other words, what you've told me is x equals zero. Where is that? x equals zero. That's here, isn't it? Yeah. x equals zero gives me 10. Now, by the way, this is a good enough segue as any to ask. <coughs> Bless you. You've just found the y-intercept for me. But I didn't bother finding it before. Does, does anyone see why I didn't bother finding it? Why it was not a useful piece of information for me? Rasen, what are you thinking? Well, we do the line graph, not the... Like right, the, right. Only the x. Yeah, so long as you're above the axis, I don't care how much above the axis, I only care that you are above the axis. Okay? Now, we've just decided together that, that zero, when you put it in, thumbs up, it works. Okay? Is zero between negative one and two? Yeah. It is, there it is. Is zero greater than five? No. It is not. Now, the word and does, as we've been saying, it means both of them together. So zero is this, but it's not that. But it satisfies the original question, right? So what that means is, if you do one of them, but not the other, that's okay, right? It's either this or it's that. Does that make sense? Uh, <laughs> got skin in the game, okay? Do you have a question, Rustin? Yeah. Okay, so I'm deliberately avoiding that symbol for now, just because, I mean, we did show it to you. As far as I can tell, it's not in the syllabus. So where I can use a word that's clear, and it means exactly what I want to say, and also you're going to have to read this in questions, and you're going to have to interpret it, I'm going to try and prefer that. But if you're absolutely in love with it, I'm not going to stop you, at least at this point. Okay? All right. How are you feeling so far? I've got the answer in inequality. That was all the heavy lifting. Now it should be easier to do the rest of this. Okay. Let's think back to interval notation. 
Okay? The very first thing in interval notation is you have to say what your variable is. What's your variable? It's x. Good. Then I use a funky Greek letter. Which one? Epsilon. The epsilon. Very good. Epsilon, like so. Okay. Now, uh, in interval notation, I have square brackets and then I have parentheses. Which one am I going to use? In this case, parentheses. Why? Yeah, very good. My boundaries are not included. Okay, so I'm going to go open one. Okay. Say it again. It, yeah. Sorry, we just left out. We don't, we, don't, we don't like that negative one in there, okay? So I'm going to go from negative one to two, like so, okay? Now at this point, interestingly, because Rasta mentioned it before, right? When we showed you this notation earlier, because everything here is also in symbols, we did tend to see this. I've seen this in textbooks and that kind of thing. You could have said or it would mean the same thing, okay? What will I put afterwards? Um, U5. Oh, oh one uh, infinity. Five. Oh. I start at 5 and then I go to where? And just like before, right, I, I'm not including any of these values. I'm certainly not including infinity because you can never get there, can you? So I should close with a parenthesis. Done. Okay. Now, last part here, C, right? On a number line. So this is just a flat thing. Now, I'm going to be super cheap and maybe you would like to be as well. You've actually almost completed this, right? You've already drawn your number line. It's right there. Right? Watch this. The number line is just the horizontal part. Right? That's how we've been drawing number lines since year 7. Right? So in other words, I don't want this stuff. And I don't want this stuff. Bam! There's my number line. Right? What I need to do though now is include the parts. Like I've got to colour in some stuff that is the same as this. Right? So which parts am I going to colour in? Minus one to two. In here? This part's good. And then... Five. Five going that way, right? So to the right. And I'm done skis. Thank you, Buzz Lightyear. Okay.